Alright guys, today I'd like to talk to you about two different cards here. One is an HD7970 by MSI, which is a 1 GHz edition, 1010 MHz on the core, 3 GB GDR5, 2000 shader units, 384 memory interface, uh, bit interface, all that good stuff and like I said fully capable of running at the uh, 2.0 with no problems and I have an FX8350 in there to run it and there's also a GTX 680 by ASUS the direct CU2 version of the card as a nice as you can see it is huge this thing comes over about 13 inches long and like I said there's a size comparison between the two cards there we go as you can see it is a lot bigger but that's to do to the aftermarket cooling this thing has like I said to flip it around there you go, GTX 680. And what I like to talk to you about today is physics. And the myth how you need an NVIDIA GPU to run it. Which is, that is not true. You can actually run it on your CPU. Just install the physics software and it'll be running straight from your CPU. Of course you won't be able to run advanced physics but what I'm going to prove today today is which one is better for running games like Metro Last Light, Bioshock all those type of games that has physics in it for far as I can tell I can't uh, see, see the difference Oops. cards just fell over and like I say is this one's in the aftermarket one. As you can see, all the good stuff in there. So is this one is also. You know, like I said, flip it over in the back. Your standard PCB reference design, but it's also at one gigahertz. This one also has one gigahertz on it, also. So both cards are pretty much equal. In terms of spec and now like I said I'm gonna run two videos side by side one has advanced physics and the other one has no physics whatsoever and then you can see for yourselves which one's better <laughs> 